today we are going to discuss about kirchhoff's laws for that we have a circuit like this first one let us label this as a b c d e and f Kirchhoff's current law talks about the junctions. So, Kirchhoff's first law deals with the current. Hence, it is known as the current law. It is also known as the junction law. So, either current law or junction law. The law states that the summation of all the current entering and leaving the junction is equal to zero. The convention for this convention is current entering, entering currents. are zero entering and leaving the junctions both are zero so entering currents are considered positive and b leaving currents leaving currents are considered negative Let's take an example. Now suppose this resistance is R one, this is R three, this is R two, R four, and R five. Let us note down the direction of current. This direction, this current is I one. It enters R two here, so this is I two. This one here is I three, but now this is positive. So let us consider this as like this. We can consider it like this. So this current moves here, here, here. So this one we say it is I four. This one as I five. Now let us take this junction B and redraw it. So we have. the junction b here now this current is entering the junction there is a current here which enters the junction there is a current here which leaves the junction this one is i1 this one is i2 this one is i3 okay so you have this here entering here Now let us frame the equation using the current law. So we have I one. Since it is entering the junction, it should be positive. So we don't write it here. I two is leaving the junction, so it is I two. Whereas I three is entering the junction, plus I three is equal to zero. So this is how you frame. a current equation using the current law or the junction law now the second law is known as the voltage law the voltage law it is also known as the loop law the law states that the summation of all the potential drops so we can write potential as i into r the potential difference is v v is equal to ir so potential difference potential drops plus the emfs emf is equal to 0 again we have the convention here 
the convention here. I'll write the convention in a table format. So for, so the first one is for potential difference. If we traverse, now if we traverse, what do we mean by that? Now let us go back to this diagram. Now over here, if you consider the network A, B, E, F, back to A, this network. Now when you consider this network, let us assume that we are traveling in the clockwise direction. So we would like to travel clockwise. Now if you see the direction of current I1, I1 and our traversing is of the same direction. For I2 also it is the same. I5 also it is the same. So if the direction is same, whose direction? For potential difference, if we traverse, if we traverse in the direction, in the direction of current, then potential difference, potential difference or potential drop potential difference is considered is considered okay we traverse in the direction is considered as negative and positive otherwise positive otherwise. Now for EMFs for EMF if we traverse if we traverse in again in the direction of current then this EMF EMF is considered as positive is just the opposite of potential difference and negative otherwise negative otherwise but it should be noted note the direction of emf the direction of emf is from negative to positive Let us make a small table out of this. So for potential difference in is negative, against is positive, for EMF is this the opposite, in is positive, against is negative. But the direction of EMF, so direction of EMF is from negative to positive. Now let us apply this to our network. Let us say the network we consider so we take an example network a b e f and a a b e f and a 
Now let us frame an equation using Kirchhoff's voltage law. We are traveling, or we are traversing in the clockwise direction. So our direction is clockwise as indicated here. Now what is the potential difference across R1? So the potential difference across I R1 is I1 into R1 according to Ohm's law. Now let us say I1 R1 here. The direction is like this. Our direction is like this. So it is in the direction for potential difference in is negative. So I1 R1 is negative. Now let's go to the next one. The potential difference across R2 is I2 into R2. Again it is in. So let's come back here. So in is negative for potential difference. So minus I2 into R2. Now let's go back here. We go here. The potential difference across R5 is R5 into I5. Again it is in the direction. In is negative again. So minus I5 into R5. And the last one the EMF. It is going from negative to positive. Direction of EMF is from negative to positive. So, it is in the direction. In is positive. So, it is going from negative to positive. It is in. Therefore, it is positive. So, plus E1 is equal to 0. So, that's the equation. Similarly, we can frame an equation for the network B. C, D, E, B. So, for the network B, C, D, B. Okay. B, C, D, E, B. It is. B, C, D, E and then B is this network. Again, we move in the clockwise direction. The potential difference across R3 is I3 into R3 or R3 into I3. We are going like this. But I3 goes like this. So it is against. Against potential difference is positive. So it is plus I3 R3. Now let's go back again. We are going from positive to negative. It's against. Against for EMF is negative so minus e2 okay this one we have not labeled it this is e2 this is e1 so minus e2 now let's go here it is the potential difference is r4 i4 we go in the clockwise direction this goes in the anti-clockwise direction so it is against, against is positive, so plus I4, R4. Now let's go back here. Again, this is against, so plus I2, R2, okay. So it's I2, R2 is equal to 0. Similarly, you can have another equation for this whole network A, C, D, F, A. A, C, D, F and A. Let us frame an equation for that in the same way. So, you will get another equation of Kirchhoff's law. So, we have over here. I1 R1, let us go a little bit faster. 
it is in in so negative this is your i3 r3 i3 r3 it is against so plus i3 r3 we go here we go from positive to negative for emf which is against hence minus e2 then we go against for i4 r4 so plus i4 r4 you go in for i5 i5 so in is negative minus i5 r5 then you go to e1 from negative to positive that is in in for emf is positive so plus e1 is equal to 0 now we have framed three equations if one variable is there in this we can take only one equation if there are two variables we need two equations if there are three variables you need three equations so in this way we can find the unknown using Kirchhoff's voltage law and current law thank you